We were at the Atlantic City Pool Show this year and the product that probably blew me away the most was this product called the Pipe Debonder. I'd never seen it before. I had always understood like most people thinking when gluing PVC pipe together that the cement actually melts the plastic together. And me, like so many others, were proven wrong in that it is still a mechanical bond. So I just got my debonder. We just received it and I am going to test it. This is a valve that was just cut off of a project that I would like to reuse if possible. So this is a perfect way of trying this and seeing if it would work. What we have here is this is a Jandy two, two and a half by three inch three-way valve and according to the product this will remove the center piece without damaging or heating up the outside at all. So what's happening here is on the unit itself, it, it, what type of pipe is it? We've got Schedule 40, so the pipe is Schedule 40 or, or Schedule 80, and then we have a couple other choices. So we're Schedule 40 pipe, and I set it for 2.5 inches, 2.5 inch, because that's what our pipe is. And according to how this works, I should be able to put this inside and start it. What that's going to do is that's going to heat the inside of that pipe for a selected uh, amount of time based on the size. In this particular case, thicker pipe obviously is going to take longer and it's counting down 9 minutes and 45 seconds at this point. So 10 minutes is enough that the unit is going to melt the inside, soften the pipe on the inside enough that I can use a, a tool to extract it. So we're going to leave this sitting here for the right amount of time and then we're going to see if in fact it does what it said it's supposed to do. So there it is. Nine minutes and 20 seconds from now we will pull the fitting out and see what happens. So this is the extraction tool that is used to pull the inner piece of pipe out. And I was just noticing here is the fitting itself is just barely warm to the touch. So it's, it's heating just the inside. It's not heating the entire pipe. It's not heating the entire fitting, just the inside pipe. And we're running down here to the last 10 seconds. The unit now turned off. It's no longer glowing. When it goes down to zero, Basically it's saying it's ready. Pull it out. What's recommended, they say at 3 o'clock, or at 9 o'clock and at 3 o'clock, test to see if the pipe is separated out or not. And then you're supposed to work with a little bit of practice. Here's the maiden voyage for this unit, and it just completely move, removed that piece of pipe from this fitting. So here's the piece, it's still warm, you can see how it disfigured as I twisted it out. But now that unit is barely warm to the touch and is clean, and once that cools off the rest of the way, there's just a little bit of heat at the top here, we can go ahead and clean it, prime it, and glue another piece in there. So there is the maiden voyage of this particular debonder. This, this unit is good from half inch up to three inch pipe. They also make one that's four to six inch and then they make one much bigger for much larger pipe. But this one is really good for the pool industry because up to three inches is pretty standard plumbing. So I'm going to run to do it again here. We have another fitting here. This is a schedule 40 uh, 45 with a piece of pipe that was glued inside. Again, we cut this off of a job and I'm going to next debond this and pull it out of there. When I saw this, 
I just kind of couldn't believe that it was true. I thought there's no way and I saw the examples and they had all these, they did these examples in front of me and they said here you do it and I did it with smaller pipe and then they had some examples they showed of bigger pipe and again there's that skeptic like but I always thought that the glue melted the plastic together there's no way it comes apart and yet here it is and I'm blown away. I, I can tell you this is the first time I've ever done this. I hadn't played with it before. It literally came out of the box right here with the material, with the, the manual and all of that was right here. I literally took it out of the box, plugged it into the wall, and I, we started filming. And there's the example of that piece of pipe being removed from the socket fitting. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again and we're going to start. This, this means PVC. So just to run through this real quick. Um, that's CPVC, uh, the P is for PVC, Schedule 20, Schedule 40, Schedule 80, and then you also have ABS plastic if you're doing an ABS plastic, Schedule 40, so, or CPVC, Schedule 80. So we have Schedule 40 pipe, and we're doing 2.5 inch. I'm going to put it in, just like we did a few minutes ago. And the unit's a little bit awkward, I suppose, but definitely functional. It serves its purpose. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. You want to center it on that. You want a plumbing center directly in there, and I'm going to hit the start button. So here we go, again we just heated this particular pipe and the fitting, the pipe inside the fitting. The recommended is to test the edges and then start at the top, slowly work it in and then rotate it around, pull the pipe out of the fitting. So here it is, again, perfectly removed piece of Schedule 40 pipe from a two and a half inch 45. That's what happens once you pull it up. You can see the pipe is really soft, it's hot, but fitting is clean and ready to be reused. I'm playing with this new device that we have called the Pipe to Bonder. And I still, after having just used it and literally taken a piece of PVC apart from a socket fitting, I'm still having a hard time believing that it works. So I'm holding the debonder into another piece to try it again to see, did I really see what I just saw a few minutes ago? This is, I, this product's been around a little while and I'm really surprised that from all of the plumbers I've talked to, the wholesalers, no one's ever heard of it. No one ever believed it was possible, and here it's true. So in another five minutes, I'm going to pull another piece of PVC pipe out of a socket. And um, again, I think I'll do it the next time and still be amazed, wondering, does it really work or not? And yet, here it is. I will rapidly become a raving fan of this product. And I will make sure that I tell everyone about it. The investment is fairly insubstantial in the whole scheme of things. It's, I think, retail in the neighborhood of about $900. And when we look at what we can do with it and how many fittings we can save and how much easier a job could be, especially replacing pool pumps and having all the valves that we typically have to cut out to replace the whole thing, just to make it work. In this particular case, we can now just remove the pump itself and then remove the, the nipple sticking into whatever the fitting is in front of the pump and be able to remove it and start over and not have to mess with tearing pipes apart. And I just believe this is going to give us a whole lot of, whole lot of easy solutions and going to make things a whole lot easier and less expensive to repair.